Review on Machine Learning for Analog Circuit Design Abstract in this review paper, different methods of machine learning are being discussed in this paper. Moreover, major parameters like power efficiency, delay, and accuracy is being taken into consideration for verifying the result. The flow of the paper starts with the basic introduction to analog circuits and machine learning then different techniques of machine learning, afterwards the usage of machine learning in analog circuits is been discussed using different methods are being discussed and then the conclusion and references. Keywords, analog circuit, accuracy, delay, machine learning, power efficiency. I introduction. Machine learning, ML is one of the most demanding and popular buzzwords nowadays, but despite the fact that EDA deals with big data amount of issues it's not made much progress incorporating ML techniques into EDA tools. For several machine learning applications in EDA, algorithm related parameter selection and training must occur completely within a design customer or industry's computing environment one the perfect interconnect strategy depends upon a really sizable amount of SOC parameters, including floor plan, routing constraints, resources available, connectivity requirements, protocol level dependency, clock characteristics, process characteristics like wire delay, power budgets, bandwidth, and latency. Constraints, etc. The amount of unique dimensions within the design strategy space grows to many hundreds, creating an excessively large design space. Machine learning are generally implemented in EDA. By analyzing billions of knowledge points from previous outputs, we will predict the impact of bugs, design complexity, human resources, licenses, and compute farm throughput on current projects. By identifying bottlenecks in semiconductor designs we will provide forward prediction and identify potential delays. Machine learning can be used for reduction of time for the design and simulation through existing complex algorithms. 5 Machine learning tools are ready to analyze past compilation results to predict optimal synthesis slash place and root parameters and placement locations out of million number of possible solutions. 3 They infer what tool parameters are best for a design using statistical modeling and machine learning to draw insights from the info to enhance quality of results. Machine learning has already begun to play a serious role in EDA. 2 Machine learning techniques. Nowadays many misconceptions are there associated with the words device gaining knowledge of, deep mastering, and artificial intelligence, AI. Most of the people suppose all this stuff are the same whenever they hear the phrase AI, they directly relate that phrase to device gaining knowledge of or vice versa. Machine learning is a technique of parsing statistics, learn from that facts and then apply what they have found out to make the knowledgeable decision. The principal distinction among deep and machine getting to know is, gadget getting to know models become higher progressively but the model still wishes a few guidance. If a system mastering model returns a faulty prediction then the programmer needs to restore that problem explicitly however within the case of deep mastering, the version does it by himself. The automatic vehicle driving system is a great example of deep gaining knowledge of AI is a potential of a computer program to feature like a human brain. Machine gaining knowledge of and deep studying is a way of attaining AI, this means that by the use of system getting to know and deep learning we may additionally in a position to obtain AI in destiny however it isn't always AI. There are various different techniques and plenty of algorithms. Some of techniques are, regression, classification, clustering, association, dimension reduction, anomaly detection, sequence mining and recommendation systems. A supervised algorithm. It is used to observe and to direct the execution of task project or activity. It is done by teaching the model. So load the model by knowledge and we teach is labeled data set. Moreover, the attributes will indicate rows and the features which includes the data indicate column. Basically, data is in two types, numerical and characters or categorical. In supervised learning, the two methods which is included are, classification and regression. Classification is the process of predicting discrete class labels or categories and regression is the process of predicting continuous values. B. Unsupervised algorithm. 
It is not necessary to supervise the model but to let the model work on its own to discover the information which may not be visible to human eye. It is the difficult algorithms. Different techniques which include, dimension reduction, density estimation which is used to find some structure within it, market basket analysis and clustering. Whereas, clustering is a group of data points or objects that are somehow similar by discovering structure, summarization, anomaly detection. Table 2. Supervised v slash s unsupervised. Unsupervised. Classification. Deals with labeled data. Clustering. Finds patterns and grouping from unlabeled data. Regression. Predicts trends using previous labeled data. Has more evaluation methods. Has fewer evaluation methods than supervised learning. Controlled environment. Less controlled environment. 3. Regression technique. A simple linear regression. It is used to predict continuous value by using other variables and also used to describe relationship between two or more variables. In simple linear regression there are two variables, dependent and independent, where dependent value should be continuous and not discrete whereas independent variables can be measured on either categorical or continuous measurement scale. Topology Simple linear regression is used when one independent variable is used to estimate one dependent variable. Working. Y equals 00 plus 01x1. Y is the dependent variable. X1 is the independent variable. 00 and 01 are the parameters that we must adjust. 00 is known as the intersect and 01 is known as the slope. 00 and 01 are also called the coefficient of linear equation. Linear regression estimates the coefficient of line. So 00 and 01 must be calculated to find the best line to fit the data. To adjust the parameters to make the line the best fit for the data, error should be minimizing. Equals 1. Dash, equals 1, carrot 2, 1. There are two approaches. 1. Mathematical approach. 2. Optimization approach. 1. Mathematical approach. Where? x b equals mean of independent value and y b equals mean of dependent value and o o equals y b, o 1 asterisk x b. Pros of linear regression. 1. Very fast. 2. No parameter tuning. 3. Easy to understand and highly interpretable. Model evaluation. The basic approaches are train and test on the same data set and train slash test split. Train and test on the same data set. Where, y is actual value where y, cap, is predicted value. This approach has high training accuracy and low out of sample accuracy. Training accuracy is the percentage of correct predictions that the model makes when using the test data set. However, a high training accuracy isn't necessarily good thing. And may result of overfitting which means the model is overly trained to the data set, which may capture noise and produce a non-generalized model. Out of sample accuracy is the percentage of correct predictions that the model makes on data that the model has not been trained on. It's imp that the model has a high out of sample accuracy so to improve it there are ways, one way is to use another evolution approach called train slash test split. Train slash test split involves splitting the data set into training and testing sets respectively which are mutually exclusive. It provides more accurate evaluation on out of sample accuracy because the testing data set is not part of the data set that has been used to train the data. Issue is the highly dependent on which the data sets the data is trained and tested. Another approach resolves most of the issues known as k-fold cross validation. K-fold cross validation, here k is the number of amount taken to check the data. If k equals fourfold, then it takes first 25% of the data for testing and rest for training. Then in the next fold the second 25% is taken and continuous for all folds. So the result is average keeping into mind that no data is repeated. K-fold cross-validation in its simplest form performs multiple train slash test splits. Using the same data set for each set differently, then the result is average. Evaluation metrics in regression, 
is used to explain the performance of a model. It provides a key role in the development of a model as it provides the insight to areas that require improvement. Error, difference between the data points and trend lines generated by the algorithm. May, mean absolute error, equals, dash, equals. This is the easiest of the metrics to understand. Since it is just an average error. MSE, mean square error, equals, dash, equals caret. RMSE, root mean square error, equals. The higher the R caret 2 the better the model fits the data. B multiple linear regression. It is the extension of simple linear regression model. The applications are. 1. Independent variable effectiveness on prediction, if we would like to identify the strength of the effect that the independent variables have on the dependent variables. 2. Predicting impacts of changes, it can be used to predict the impact of changes that is to understand that how the dependent variable changes when we change independent variable. It is the method of predicting continuous values. It is very useful for examine which variables are significant predictors of the outcome variable. Y, cap, equals O0 plus O1x1 plus O2x2 plus, plus on xn. So, Y, cap, equals OT dot x. O is the parameters and x is the feature set and independent value and y is dependent. To achieve this goal, we must minimize the error. To find the optimized parameters, we should understand the optimized parameters and the way to do it. Optimized parameters are the ones which lead to a model with the fewest error. To estimate O, there are approaches known as 1 ordinary least square, it tries to estimate the value of the coefficient by minimizing the MSE. It uses linear algebra operation but it takes long time for large data sets, 10k plus rows. 2. Optimization algorithm, to find the best parameters that is you can use a process of optimizing the value of the coefficient by iteratively minimizing the error of the model on your training data. Like gradient descent, it is a proper approach if you have large data set. See nonlinear regression. It is the method to model nonlinear relationship between the dependent variable and a set of independent variables. For a model to be considered nonlinear y, cap, must be nonlinear function of the parameters O, not necessarily the features X. It can be shapes of exponential, logarithmic, and logistic or many other types. That is in nonlinear regression the model is nonlinear by parameters. In contract to linear regression method, we cannot use the ordinary least square methods to fit the data in nonlinear regression. As the estimation of parameters is not easy. D. Introduction to classification. Is a supervised learning approach which means that it is categorized some unknown items into a discrete set of categories or classes. Classifications attempts to learn a relationship between a set of featured variables and a target variable of interest. The target attribute in a classification IAS categorical variable discrete values. Classification determines the class label for an unlabeled test case. Classification applications, email filtering, speech recognition, biometric identification, document classification and much more. Classification algorithms in ML. 1. Decision trees, ID3, C4.5. C5.0. 2. Naive Bayes. 3. Linear Discriminate Analysis. 4. K Nearest Neighbor. 5. Logistic Regression. 6. Neutral Networks. 7. Support Vector Machines, SVM. 4. Machine Learning in Analog Design. 1. Machine Learning for Fast and Accurate Mixed Signal Design Optimization 1. A machine learning model called Artificial Neural Network Metamodel, ANNM, have been explored to capture the highly nonlinear nature of analog block. Op underscore AMP and PLL is being constructed over here where Firefly optimization algorithm is applied to an op underscore AMP design in the IBAMS 2.0 framework. Whereas, ABC, Artificial B Colony, based algorithm performs optimization over the N metamodel of PLL. It is observed that and achieve more accurate results than
polynomial metamodels with shorter optimization time. The step which are taken into considerations are, a concept of IVAMS, Intelligent Metamodel Integrated Verilog AMS. B. Schematic Design of OP underscore AMP. C. Intelligent Metamodel Generation with Neural Networks. D. Firefly Algorithm Using IVAMS. E. Construction of a Neural Network in Verilog AMS. FABC algorithm and N based MET modeling for fast and accurate nano CMOs mixed signal design exploration. G a non polynomial meta model based design optimization flow of analog slash mixed signal circuit is presented. H practical use of non polynomial N and PD of 180 nanometer CMOs PLL is undertaken. IABC algorithm is used for optimization of PLL physical design that uses the metamodel instead of actual circuit. J demonstration of PLL is faster and accurate compared to the polynomial metamodel. 2 regression and N models for electronic circuit design 2, in this particular method, the circuit contain 4 resistors whose value are kept unchanging for better accuracy. Nominal values of resistors are decided of the amplifier circuit. Values of resistor are changed from low to nominal and then high. After the variation of R1, R2, R3, R4, gain. Are calculated. The data set is collected from the output and split into training and test set and the graph is estimated and response surface for. Use regression polynomial for these two outputs. Different data sets and graphs are created from interaction effect plot showing gain. Obtained with the and higher accuracy was obtained with the and then with conventional regression technique. 3 MOM SVM3, multi output modeling with support vector machine. Basically, VCO, voltage controlled oscillator, is designed in Cadence Virtuoso as a test circuit then in SPICE simulator for obtaining the data set and then K cross validation, method is being used for tuning and MATLAB is been used because of LSSVM for modeling is been used. 4 Regression Methodologies on Analog Circuit Design 5, the main purpose of this is to save simulation time with the minimum amount of accuracy loss. The basic features if regression method are, training error, build time, testing error, testing time, variable space, and training data set, among which build time, testing error, and testing time are the important measures. Gaussian processes are used as regression methodologies because they are easy to train and use. The process includes, AGP scikit, it will smooth the prediction when noisy training data set is being used. It is implemented in Python. BGP Rasmussen, it is implemented in MATLAB. CGPLP Park, it is implemented in MATLAB. DSPGP it will help to choose pseudo inputs among training data sets. It is implemented in Python. EKRG, it is implemented in Python on scikit-learn. FKRC, it is used to subdivide input space during training. It is implemented in Python. GPIXGPR, it is implemented in Python. HFFX, it is used to predict the data and implemented in Python. IRIWD, it works with large data set and also for improving prediction error. It is implemented in Python. 5. Analog circuit optimization using sparse regression and error margining for, run cadence virtuoso for sample points. In which first, build linear models using sparse regression. Along with that, derive the equation for worst case model using. Draw the schematic of circuit, op underscore amp, then find the parameters like power consumption, gain frequency, gain, phase margin, slew rate, input offset, output swing. Draw the schematic of different circuit, low noise amplifier, then find the parameters like noise figure, forward reflection, forward transmission, reverse reflection. Conclusion Analog means having various parameters and various data, if data changes, minor, i.e., if temperature changes the output may get affected, as there are various data, it is manually not possible to get the proper output. If the data change, major, i.e., 
if the input voltage gets fluctuated from 0.8V to 1.2V the data will change automatically which will change the output and every time it is not possible to change and update the output manually. So, machine learning is used over here. Basically in ML we are teaching the machine with different languages like Python or R to learn something. Here, we are having a data set from the output which may be given to different topologies of ML like in regression we have simple linear regression, multiple regression, decision making tree, polynomial and many more. Now, we have different parameters to check like power consumption, delay, accuracy which is one of the important parameter when machine learning is taken into consideration, i.e. in regression model there are various sub-models, and also apart from that there are different models of NNCNN which is chosen according to the accuracy of output. So, as close loop we can do is to save simulation time, to provide better accuracy and we can do multi-output system.